the largest, most powerful rocket in the world is going to propel them onward and upward into the heavens. May I introduce them to you all? An announcement of historic proportions, not least because it will send one Canadian on a ride around the moon. He is a master of science in physics, an F-18 pilot, and a Canadian astronaut. Your mission specialist, Jeremy Hansen. <laughs> London, Ontario born Jeremy Hansen will become the first person from this country to venture into deep space. Partly covering her over, but I guess pretty good shot. As NASA named the crew for its first human moon mission since Apollo. It is not lost on any of us that the United States could choose to go back to the moon by themselves. A Canadian is going to the moon with our international partnership and it is glorious. Your Artemis II crew. <laughs> Artemis 2 is scheduled to launch late next year. The Canadian Space Agency secured Hansen's seat in 2020 through an agreement with NASA, in which Canada committed to provide a next generation robotic arm known as Canada Arm 3 for Gateway, NASA's eventual moon orbiting space station. The CSA says using artificial intelligence, Canada Arm 3 will be able to tend to the gateway when no humans are on board. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau but sharing his excitement in a call to Hansen. There's only 24 people in the history of the world who have seen the full circle of the earth and they're all Americans. Well, you will be the first Canadian. This is a bit, the first non-American. This is a big deal. Last week's federal budget included $2.5 billion for Canadian space exploration, with $1.1 billion of those funds supporting Canada's presence at the International Space Station until 2030. Now, while NASA says the moon is its next destination, it is considered a stepping stone to worlds beyond, including Mars. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.